pre-launch emails that they can use. Multiple subject lines, multiple even pre-launch emails. So they can just take bits and pieces and put things together or they maybe don't have time to go to your sales page or, and really know what your product is totally about. So this stuff helps them. During pre-launch, you're going to, as a product owner, going to be giving out something of value. And, and I'll go into more detail in exactly what I did in my last launch. But it's something that's going to be related to the product itself. In this case, we gave some interviews away for Viral Book Explosion. We gave some interviews away that had to do with people that had the cool viral campaigns, that have done viral type advertising that's made a lot of money. We wanted people to be thinking, okay, viral, I can make viral tools, viral ebooks, I can make money. So you give them pre-launch emails, you also give them launch emails. Again, with multiple subject lines and even multiple emails. Banner ads, viral thank you boxes. Because this is a free butterfly type site, they can pop on these, these bonus boxes, I always call them, on all their pages. And what we did is we started putting tracking codes in these boxes so we would know when an affiliate used their code and put it on their site and we were tracking clicks and also how many people bought. We didn't do it actually with Viral Ebook Explosion. We did it with the next, next instant bonus page. And we can see what tools people are using, not using, which are making money. Definitely, this is number one. I should have put this above banner ads. This brings in the most money. On a free site, you give them a lot of different free bonus type boxes. And go into my sites and rip me off. I've seen people do it. I don't, I don't mind. Go in there and, and copy it and put in your information in the bonus boxes. But yeah, this is by far the biggest money earner of, of any of the other tools. And brand, I even put a branded book inside there that just had to do with Viral Ebook Explosion. Even though all those other 35 had one link back, we put a branded ebook in there that just had a bunch of different links back to us. And then signature lines for like forums or emails, um, different graphics. We put graphics and even flash, um, the flash movies in there that people could grab and create their own little bonus boxes or ads or whatever they wanted. Peel away ads are those, those, th those things on top of the site that people, you know, it kind of looks like it's uh, flickering and it's, they click it and it, you know, it, it opens up and then they click it again and it goes to your site. Different articles, pop-ups, stuff like that. Thanks for subscribing type videos. We added these late, so a lot of affiliates never saw them. So I, um, we never got some good tracking numbers on those. Actually, we did start tracking this after we launched. So, yeah, for instant bonus page, we know that these actually did not do the greatest. We tracked that from the very beginning. Everybody got that down? All right, the JV Invite page. Here is the, th we, I talked about the theme, um, St. Patty's Day is when we launched it. And the theme, obviously, is St. Patrick's Day theme. I guess, well, I don't know why I was saying, obviously, that's March. So the launch date, um, and we did it on a Monday. Normally, we, I don't ever launch anything on a Monday, but I just want to tie in the St. Pat Patrick's Day theme. So we just went to iStock. You can get a ton of little graphics for $1. Never swipe them off of someone else's site because you don't have the rights to use them, and you can get sued, I'm sure, if caught. But yeah, we had uh, a bunch of these little things. This was actually a flash m a movie of the marketer's pictures going across. So just kind of asking, you know, who is going to win this? And then we did something where we had a New Orleans party, and that was one of our prizes. So prizes for the top 10 uh, joint venture partners, um, you know, $5,000 cash. Um, so first place prize was cash, a ticket to my New Orleans party, and uh, your br branded uh, ebook added in the site. So it doesn't have to just be one prize. It can be multiple things. I have saw one marketer do cash, but then he did, he said that the top three people would get a solo mailing to his list. His list is over 500,000. So the cash was like maybe 10,000 first place, 7,500, maybe 5,000 for third, something like that. The most valuable part of that was a mailing. 
I know he has mailed before and made people a lot more than that, for sure. So you can throw in some extra things. And he also knows that his top partners are going to be people that have good products, so he won't have a problem mailing for them. So it doesn't have to just be cash or prizes. You can throw in extra things. Now the JV blog then, that again, everyone sees. I had a dumb little welcome video um, when people first hit it. You can see me with a crazy wig on. You've got your pre-launch contest and your launch contest. You can just keep updating those. Tell your web guys to go into the stats or you send them the stats each day and say, update that. So during the seven-day pre-launch, every day you want to show the, the new top, in this case, top three. You could do top ten. Our last launch, we had it updating automatically. The system was pulling the numbers and in real time it was updating. What I did for that, for the JV blog, I told my guys, keep it blank until I tell you, because I was going to check to see once we got a real good top ten you know, because obviously the first, once you open, you're only going to have a couple of people making sales, and then eventually you'll get three, four, five, six. I didn't want it updating with just one person's name, two people. So I told them then, once I saw 10, turn it on, it showed the top 10. Then when we got a good list of top, top 20, I had them add another 10 to show the top 20 all the time. And it's something about seeing your name, you're in fifth place. Oh, man, I can, I can beat that person in fourth. Liz is in fourth. I'm going to beat her no matter what I do. I'm going to kill myself to beat her. <laughs> but it, it's psychological. It makes no sense. They can afford, Phyllis can afford these prizes. It doesn't really matter if you're th second or third place. Fortunately, it does with us. We're <laughs> we want to beat our friends. And I even did that to the max this last launch. When I was over in England, I was sitting with two groups of people that had large lists, and I got them to start competing against each other. Like, who's going to win? And then I started writing down quotes. Now, so what's your quote on how bad you're going to beat his ass? Okay. Now what's your reply to that? And we're just playing it up. And sure enough, they came out full guns. They both had great bonuses. They both did a ton of sales. And one, finished, one group finished second and one group finished third. We had a smack talk area. I think this, again, might have been stolen from Liz. I told the story about how I helped you, Liz, uh, in your affiliate promotion, and I lost first place because of it. Here we actually let people type in and make, start making fun of people. Just add in a fun element to it. And the, uh, I had mentioned about doing the contest results all the time. I was doing contest results every 12 hours for this last launch at the beginning. Definitely every 24 hours. There was a... Uh, a person that just launched the site Tuesday that I advertised, he was one of my top five partners. Uh, but he never had a contest. I sent out one email. I mean, I did owe him. He did great and everything. And I, I checked out his product. I sent out an email. I made, I think, $5,500, which is awesome. But I haven't emailed again. I don't know why. Another email, I'm sure I would have made another 5000 But instead... I took my emails and I'm sending them to a pre-launch that begins on next Tuesday. Those emails aren't really making me any money. I might win a prize, but the, most pri the biggest prize value I might win might be $2,000. So that makes no sense. I passed up sending an email out that would make me $5,000. Instead, I'm sending emails where the pre-launch ultimately might only make me $2,000 because of the contest. And it come, boils down to the contest. He had no contest. You have no idea who's the top five. Even if you don't have a contest, if you're just updating, here's our top five, our top ten, our top three, whatever, it makes a huge difference. I have no idea why. It doesn't matter. In this case, he's not given any details on who's, there's no prizes to win, but he's not given any details. He should be sending out every 24 hours. No, contests are in uh, pre-launch and launch, or a combination. I'll show you. I did a combination on mine, uh, and yeah, it, it worked pretty well. But yeah, it can be both. Sometimes for pre-launch, if you have a higher price item, pre-launches are even more important. Because a free product, pretty much people can show up and they're going to be pre-sold. Oh, it's free. If it's a higher-end product, or even one that costs any money, 
you get them, you put them in a certain state of mind that they need it, want it. So when that opens, they're ready to buy. You had mentioned how you're ready to buy that one marketer's product. You're ready. Didn't matter what the cost is. Ideally, that's what you want people to be all frenzied up and hypered up and ready to buy before you even open. They don't even know the price. That's what a pre-launch is for. All right, additional ways to make money. In the follow-up email, and some of this we've already talked about. Hopefully, this is going to be start. I, you know, unfortunately, we're going to be repeating ourselves, but it's good because this system is not hard, and we are repeating ourselves because it's just a system. We want you to start seeing that it's a system, and you just plug it in. We talked about the follow-up emails. You can put those free offers in your PSs. You already know that those free offers are other butterfly type sites. Some of them are my partners. I'm already rotating them on my download pages, my opt-in pages, my login pages. Well, here's another way to advertise those sites. Or they could also be my sites. In your case, you're going to be advertising your sites. We talked about the free gift page already inside the members area. Whenever you have a membership script, have a free, free uh, gift area. Hey, Liz, is it a member that gives out um, the affiliate links when you buy right away, when you join? Like, does, does Stoop use a member as a membership script? Yes. And, and that, gives, that gives everyone affiliate links right away, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't use a member, so I, I was waiting for you to come back to confirm that. Ads that rotate. We've already talked about that. And then also on the login pages, oops, and also download pages. And once you create these boxes, you don't have to do them again. You can have it just all on one. What I do is I'll just take a screenshot of, I'll go to one of my sites, I'll take a screenshot and tell my guys, go take these three ads out on, that's on this page of Virally Book Explosion and put them on this new site. So once you make, do the work or have someone do the work, it's just a matter of copy and pasting and telling them, grab that, put it on here. Grab this, put it on here. And you can start throwing these things together real quick. Even download pages, you can have, once you have someone put up and once they know the process, they can get a download page made like this. Say, okay, here's the jeffdiedrich.com forward slash you know, Twitter giveaway. And I want you to use this graphic. Go to this site and use that graphic. Go to, here's the download, here's the cover, and here's, use these four bonus boxes on these two pages. It's as simple as that. All right, here's monthly articles to go. This is a site that I did, threw together, didn't even think about it. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm buying content each month for this site. It's just, it's an article wholesaler that you buy articles and website stuff. You can go check it out. And articles to go, how I got that idea. Um, someone in a big 10 product type sale, they had, they gave you, I think, 300 articles. And I don't know if they gave you the script too. We didn't use the script. But they gave, that was one of the products. They gave you the membership site to start. And they named it uh, Monthly Articles to Go. Well, I went over there and checked, and no one ever, ever registered their domain name. So I quick jumped on that, knowing people would see that product or somehow find it years later, months later, and, and just show up at my uh, URL. So buying the content every month, um, I received the sales letter for free from the site. So I actually use the sales letter from the site that I'm buying the articles from. And I never really advertised it at all, other than maybe one time a year. I don't even remember the last time I've advertised it. I don't even do a good job putting on bonus download pages. I need to be, I'll show you my mistakes for this. Um, and really, I even forget I have it. When I rattle off membership sites, I just did it this weekend. I rattle off, uh, someone asked me how many membership sites I had. I didn't even think about this site because I don't really even do anything with it. But every four months I log in, maybe, my guys get the articles and get the websites every single month, and they upload them, and I don't touch it. I do nothing. But in about two and a half years, I've brought in 36,000 without even uh, thinking about it. 